Would someone please tell us what's going on here? And it had better not be what it looks like. I'm afraid it is. But then that means that this woman, <clears throat> that she's... Yeah, his wife, honey. His long-suffering wife. Hey, what about the fun years? Then it's true, Marco? All of this is true? I got a little carried away. I forgot to tell you about the wife and kids. It's true. You forgot? How does a man forget about a wife Very and three easily, kids? Very easily, please. No problem. I will have you arrested. Anna, just, that isn't necessary. This is a blatant act of fraud and bigamy, isn't it? Yes. Ruby, honey. I'm sure you're going to want to press charges. She doesn't want to press charges because she never took anything seriously, did you, dear? For you, it was all a lark, wasn't it? Being able to gamble in a casino, running away from goons, even getting married. It was all just a goof. What am I going to do with you, huh? You gamble away all our money. You get involved with strange women. <clears throat> How could you do this to me, Marco? <laughs> you told me that you were the only person that really loved me in this world. <laughs> you told me that I could trust you. You told me that you love me. You said that. You said all those things. Yeah, yeah, I know what I said. I lied. How could you do this to me? How could you hurt me like this? How could I hurt who like that? How could I hurt you? How could I hurt somebody who doesn't exist? How can I hurt somebody who's not real What's except on TV? What's the matter with you, fellas? Why aren't you stopping really there? Because huh? it's the truth and she me. needs to hear it. Hurry up, Marco. Come on, knock it off, will you please? You understand what I'm trying to say to you? Do you? Oh, I suppose you think maybe now I should apologize. Well, I'm, an I'm, a, I'm a gambler. I accept the fact that maybe from time to time I do the wrong thing. You win some, you lose some, but I won't apologize, no. You expect me to apologize? I'd never apologize for this. I apologize for the fact that we had to end this way. I prefer to have ended after the honeymoon, you know, after the game was over. Leave her alone. But she's not in her right mind. Megan? She was shot. Is Ricky, she all right? Ricky's fine. Ricky's fine. We're all fine. Marco. Yeah. What are all these people doing here? What am I doing here? These people are uh, are the preachers. They're real. These people over here are actors. And uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Are you okay with this? You got paid, right? Oh, yes, very generously. Okay. Thanks. Sure. Bye now. Good luck. Come on, kids. Out you go. Carlene? I don't know, Jonas. Maybe they're all aliens. If you'll come over here, I'll explain all this stuff to you, too. Well, who's going to explain this to me? I'll, I'll try and explain it to you. Marco knows a little bit more about it than I do. Well, what about Dad and Austin? Austin's dead. The rest of us are, are, are fine. Are you sure that Vicky's okay? Vicky is Vicky is fine. She's she's very concerned. I mean, she had a dream that you were in trouble. In trouble? How? Megan. Vicky was shot three days ago. Three? Why don't I remember what happened in the last three days? I, I think the, the shock of seeing Austin shoot Vicky kind of sent you into a, a trance, you know, sort of a catatonic state. It, it was your way of dealing with the horror of seeing what you had seen. And when you came out of it, you came out as Ruby. What do you mean when I came out of it? Oh, God, Clint. I've been moving for the last three days. And then Marco called me. He told me what was about to about to happen, and uh, so we kind of cooked up this little scheme to try and shock you out of being Ruby. You saw the wife and the three kids, and you flipped, I guess, huh? 
I don't understand how these two events made me change personalities. Well, I think maybe it was the, your sense of loss, of, of, of abandonment, you know, that created the original episode. What, so you think that I thought that Vicky was dead when Austin shot her? And that that was just like losing her when I was a small child? Exactly. Look, I'm going to find a telephone, and I'm going to call Vicky. I'll be right back. I don't understand how losing you caused me to change. I was the only one that Ruby had. The rest of the world was hostile. Ruby knew that I loved her, so she trusted me. When I broke that trust, it hurt you, didn't it? Well, it hurt me. Wait a minute, Marco. What did you do to get Ruby to marry you? What was going through that sick little mind of yours? Mm -hmm.